So in the last video, we implemented HSNC matrix using C++. So in this video, I'm going to show you the same using Java programming language. As some of you guys are more comfortable in programming in Java as compared to C++. We'll start with declaring a class for graph in Java and then we will work with the object of the graph to add and remove edges and then we will try to print the graph as well. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just create a class for graph here. So static class graph and it will have a variable called int total nodes. So here what I'll do is I'll just create a graph called int graph. Int graph that is a 2D matrix and let me declare a constructor int graph of total nodes. Right, and this will just assign this dot total nodes is equal to total nodes, and the graph will be initialized to new int of total nodes and total nodes. So this is basically creating n cross n matrix where n is the number of nodes. Okay, so this is the representation of a graph. Okay, so let's declare the main function now. The so main. So let's assume that we are going to be constructing this particular graph that is shown over here. So this graph has one two three four five six so basically six number of nodes are there and how many edges do we have so we have one two three four five six and seven so we have seven edges and six nodes in this particular graph so what i'll do is i'll just begin with creating a variable for graph 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 is equal to new graph okay so this is basically creating an object of graph and it is expecting how many nodes does this particular graph has so we have six nodes so i'll be typing six over here Okay, so total node is six. What I can do is I can just create a different variable on itself. So public uh, static final in uh, total nodes. Total nodes is equal to six. Okay, and I'll just use this total nodes variable over here. Okay, so total nodes, new graph of total nodes. So a graph with six nodes would be created. So now let us have a function which can print the graph. So we have void print graph. Okay. Uh, let me do a system dot out dot print line statement uh, system dot out dot print ln and i'll just do graph is graph is and uh, let me run a for loop for int source is equal to zero source less than total nodes and source plus plus and i'll do a for int destination is equal to zero destination less than total nodes and destination plus plus so basically here what we are doing is we are just printing uh, the 2d graph that we have over here so what i'll do is i'll just do system dot out dot print print statement not print line statement because i want it all to be in a single line and i'll just do print graph of source and destination okay and let me also leave a space after printing each of these values. So these values are basically one and zero. The one of graph source and destination indicates that there is an edge between source and destination. A zero in uh, as the value for graph of source destination indicates that there is no edge between the source and the destination. Okay. And let me leave a line over here. Let me leave a line at the end as well. So that next time when we try to print the graph, it is printing in a different line. Okay. So this should print our graph. So let us just test it out for our graph over here. So graph dot print graph. And since we haven't added any edges over here, so all the values in the edges in C matrix should be zero. Okay. So let me just run this particular program and see what is the output that we are getting. So as you can see here that all the values of the edges in C matrix are zero because we haven't added any edges till now. Okay, so for adding an edge, let us introduce another method void add edge int source and int destination. So let me give an example for adding an edge. Okay, so if we consider this graph again, so how do we so how do we differentiate between a directed edge and an undirected edge? So a directed edge will contain arrows uh, and an undirected edge will not contain arrows. It will just simply contain a line. So here we can see that all the edges in this graph are undirected. So if we have an edge between zero and one, we can move from zero to one and also from one to zero. Okay. Uh, so for this implementation, let me add. So if we want to add an edge between source and the destination, maybe the source is zero and the destination is one. And if we want to add an edge between zero and one, we also need to add an edge between one and zero. Okay. So that is a property that is the bi-directional property of undirected edges. 
right so what i'll do is i'll just do graph of okay graph of uh source and destination is equal to one okay and we also need to do graph of destination source is equal to one okay so this is basically ensuring that when you're doing graph of zero one that is when you are doing graph of 0 1 is equal to 1 we are also doing graph of 1 0 is equal to 1 okay so this is an add edge function for our undirected graph had it been a directed graph we simply would remove this statement over here so we just simply want to add an edge between source and the destination not the reverse okay so the uh, for a directed graph having an edge from 0 to 1 doesn't indicate that we have an edge from 1 to 0 as well right so graph of let me just get back that statement again the graph of destination source is equal to one similarly we can remove an edge also so how do we remove an edge remove edge and i'll do int source and int destination and i'll just do i'll just instead of just one i'll just put it zero over there so we have destination is equal to zero okay and graph of destination and source is equal to zero right so we have an add edge and a remove edge function and let me add these edges that we have in our graph over here so let's add let's start with zero and one so i'll just do graph dot add edge zero and one and then we'll add one and two so graph dot add edge one and two then we'll add one and five so we have graph dot add edge one and five then we'll add zero and five so we'll have graph dot add edge zero and five okay so we are done with this top portion now we have three and five graph dot add edge three and five then we have three and four and two and four graph dot add edge three and four and then we have two and four two and okay so this is adding edges so how many edges did we add so we have one two three four five six and seven so we have added seven edges and we have seven edges in the graph as well so all the edges are added till now and let me call the print graph after this so it's already present uh so let's let's run the program and see like uh did did we add any edge after all or it simply is not doing anything okay so we had all the zeros because we did not add any edges now since we have all the added statements over here so let's see how the adjacency matrix look like so now you can see the difference right so uh, earlier we had all the zeros present in the graph now we have uh, the ones present in places uh, where we have added the edges so so this particular cell if you just consider so we have an edge between 0 1 so this is because of this particular statement graph dot add edge okay and uh, let's just confirm whether we have an edge between 2 4 so we'll just go to 0 1 and 2 and then we'll go to 0 1 2 3 and 4 so we have a 1 over here as well so this basically indicates that we have an edge between 2 and 4 and let's let's see uh, the below 1 so we this should be 3 and 4 so do we have an edge between 3 and 4 so yes the, we we do have the edge between 3 and 4 so graph and adjacency matrix you represent it something like this so that was it for uh, the agency matrix representation in Java.